Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Sakani. Today, I'm going to talk about um, the tribulation dream the Lord showed me last Sunday. Okay, so in this dream, it was me and my family and uh, the Holy Spirit, and I do believe the other one was Jesus Christ. I could only see the Holy Spirit, you know. It was imparted upon my heart. I had the knowledge, the discernment to know that uh, the one man who was there, he looked like an Asian-looking man, was the Holy Spirit. And the other one was Jesus, but I couldn't see his uh, face or his figure. I could just tell that he was right there. So we went into a house, like a mansion. Um, I do believe this is in heaven because we don't have a big mansion like that here. So it was in heaven. Um, we were going, I remember going in the house, me and my family, and um, we were sitting down, um, eating dinner with the with the Lord and the Holy Spirit. It was just kind of like chit-chatting, um, you know, talking and having fun there. And then I decided to go to the balcony. You know, this mansion had a balcony in the back. So as I went outside in the balcony, I could see uh, earth for some reason. I saw the earth and I saw the skies of the earth and I noticed that the earth, uh, the sky had changed. It wasn't the same skyline that the earth had. It wasn't the blue skyline. It wasn't the, uh, if it's at night, it wasn't the night one with the stars and, and the one moon. It wasn't like that. It was all changed. It had several moons. Uh, they look like moons, you know, because I was like looking down. You know, I was up in the balcony and looking down. They look like moons, but they might have been other heavenly bodies. And there were other heavenly bodies as well that were not moons. I mean, they, they had weird shape and different shapes and colors and all these things. And uh, so I could see and I saw that it, it, there was so darkness there. There was so much darkness. Uh, it was dark, you know, and... Um, the streets, they were, it was all dark as well. There was nobody walking or running down the street. Um, I saw one man walking down the street, and as soon as he was walking, this man, I don't know where he came from, he just kind of like killed him right then and there. You know, I don't know if it was a zombie. It looked like it, it, it looked like it wasn't a normal person. And that's all I can tell you because... Uh, you know, the one who killed the other person. It didn't look like a hu normal human being. That's the scene that the Lord showed me. Uh, it might have been zombies there. So maybe it's zombie killing people who are walking out in the streets. But the streets were like nobody in the street. I mean, absolutely nobody. Just just, just people in, shattered in their, like in their houses and stuff. So as I as I was looking at that, and then I saw also a far up, in the distance like a another planet that was coming down this planet looked like an earth but it wasn't the earth okay it looked like it was from a far distance p place and it was coming towards the earth as it come closer and closer it became bigger and bigger and bigger and then um, I left the balcony and I went inside you know to in, to to continue mingling with the family and the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, the Holy Spirit Okay, like I said, not to confuse anybody, the Holy Spirit can take any shape. You know, people are misled or just thinking that the Holy Spirit is only a dove. He is a personality, just like Jesus. He has a personality. And, uh, you know, they are um, God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. You know, they can take shape. They can take any shape that, you know, they want. So, um, like in this dream, he came as an Asian looking man. So that was so uh, exciting that he showed me that kind of side of him. Uh, you know, get closer to God. He will show you things. Get closer to him. You will know him in a supernatural way that you have never known him. Because in the Bible, um, we are limited sometimes. But when you, when you pray to him, when you are closer to him, he becomes your friend. And, you know, that's what he was in this dream. He was just, he was our friend. You know, he was our, uh, our uh, just companions. You know, he was there to, to mingle with us, to, 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 to give us comfort, to teach out with us, just cooking dinner together, celebrating together. That's what we were doing. So that was nice. But in the earth, it was totally different scenario there that was happening. 
So be encouraged, saints. We're going to be in heaven when this earth is going rampant. I mean, we're going to be having fun with the Lord, eating dinner like the marriage supper of the Lamb. I mean, we're going to be in heaven. You know, the Lord has prepared us a table, a beautiful table, beautiful wedding, beautiful supper, you know, for us. So we should be encouraged by that. Okay. So I'm going to read Luke 21. I'm going to start from verse, um, let's see. 25. The Bible says there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations and uh, will be in anguish and perplexity ple at the rolling and tossing of the sea. Okay, so the sea is going to be so unstable at this point. This is during the tribulation, saints. This chapter right here I'm talking about, it is talking about the tribulation. Okay, people will faint from terror apprehensive of what is coming on the world for the heavenly bodies will be shaken you know that's what the lord is saying the heavenly bodies will be shaken it is no longer be the same blue sky we know it is no longer gonna be the same stars and one moon we know what i saw was totally different from that he says the heavenly bodies will be shaken and it is going to be so so different from that and darkness will be upon the earth, and people will, you know, it is going to be a hard time for people. Zombies are going to be on the earth. Uh, just terror, terror. At that time, 27, at that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing near. Okay, that was verse 28. Now, this is when the second coming of Jesus, towards the very end of the uh, tribulation, I do believe. Um, because Jesus is going to come with the mighty army and the angels, and uh, we're going to come to war with the devil at the battle of Armageddon. Okay, So, when these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. He took them... Uh, this parable, look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that the summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Okay, Heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word will remain the same. Okay, this earth, this skyline is never go is not going to be the same again. Be careful, or your hearts will be weighed down with carousing drunkenness and uh, the anxieties of life, and that day will uh, will close on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come on all those who live on the face of the whole earth. Be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen, and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Okay, he says we need to be care watching right now. We need to be watching right now to be found worthy. You know, we need to pray. We need to be watching that we might be found worthy to escape all this that is about to happen. All that that we were talking about the heavens, roll, the seas rolling, the skies um, passing away, the earth passing away. All that fear. He says fear is gonna grip the men. You know, people are gonna have fear and they're gonna drop dead probably some of them you know just be in because of the fear the terrible things that will be happening the zombies that will be killing people so this time around it is not the time for the children of god to be around this is the time that will be in heaven he says that will escape all these things that you know happen upon the earth and he says the generation this generation will not pass away until all these things are established okay but we'll be coming back. We'll be coming back after the tribulation, towards the end of the tribulation, to fight the devil and and the, and and his armies, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna the Lord and the mighty angels and mighty warriors. We're gonna come back and do battle with the devil, and we're gonna conquer him because the God has given us victory. So, saints, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Don't be misled by people saying that you know we're gonna be here during the tribulation. We are not going to be here. We are not going to be here. 
Okay, we it says that tribulation. You know what? Another revelation God gave my sister who says tribulation has started. Okay, it might have started a little bit, but we're not gonna be here towards the very end. You know, we know that it's we know it's not gonna be like that. We're gonna be gone any day, any minute now. We're gonna be raptured. You know, RFID chips is already people are already taking that. Right now is not mandatory. Right now it's only people who want it. So they're gonna make it mandatory when the the rapture has happened. That's when they're gonna make it mandatory. So we know that the a system is already set up for the devil to rule. Okay, but God has not appointed us to wrath to go through the tribulation. No. It, this tribulation time is the time for punishment. God is going to punish the devil and he and those who do not believe in him. So that's why, you know, those who are left behind, they have to make it right. Okay, they have to make it right. They have to die for Jesus. God loves us. I mean, he's a merciful and loving God. God loves us. He loves you. You know, he doesn't want you to go through this tribulation. I don't know why you think that he, God wants us to go through tribulation. It is not a good, it's not a time that people are saying that we're going to go through and it's okay. It's not okay. This tribulation is going to be a terrible time. There has never been. There's never been any time like this. And why would God want his children go through this terrible time? No, saints. Be encouraged, okay? Read the Bible. Read the Bible. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand scriptures. He is the only one who can help you understand, okay? He is the only one. So it says, pray always and seek him that you might be found worthy to escape these things that are coming. And what are these things? Seas rolling. The heavens passing away? I mean, that probably, just like I say, the Lord showed me heavenly bodies that we've never seen of. It wasn't this one moon. It was different things up there. It was this huge planet coming. And, I, you know, I don't know if that's the Nubiru. Everybody says it's coming. I don't know. I can't tell you. But I can tell you what I have seen. And it is a huge planet coming towards Earth. Okay, and um, zombies, I don't know how those people were changed. I can't tell you that, but I just seen these zombies killing people in the streets. Okay, so that is, there was darkness. There was no light at all. Darkness, total darkness in the streets. Darkness. And I don't think children of God were anywhere near that. So the Lord wouldn't have shown me that. He showed me in the beginning of that, that we were going to heaven, to our heavenly mansion, where he has prepared us a place, and we were having dinner or supper, whatever you want to call it, okay, with the Lord and the Holy Spirit. Saints, be encouraged. Don't be misled by people who are telling you lies that we're going through the tribulation. We are not. Stand firm in the word. Stand firm in God. Repent always. Repent, repent, repent. Get ready for him. Get ready for his arrival. You know, get ready. Get ready so we can enjoy and have fun with Jesus. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. So be encouraged, saints. We are almost there. In Jesus' name, I bless you all. Bye-bye.